Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Libra. Hey Libra, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you. Okay, so, uh, Libra, I feel like you guys have a, a few things going on. Some things you're choosing to ignore, some things you're not responding to, and I don't blame you. Uh, yeah, so I feel like with you guys, you have to handle one thing at a time. I think what you guys are need to do or are trying to do, I'm not quite sure, um, is starting to handle things. I think you're starting to prioritize things is the energy that I'm getting. I also feel like some of you guys might be having some financial difficulties, kind of figuring out how can I do this, how juggling money is what I'm getting. I feel like... You could be pretending like everything is okay and it is not, right? So I feel like this is something that needs to be dealt with, the situation with money, all right? That's with the two of pentacles, yep, juggling. Also with this, guys, I feel like there's something about uh, self-doubt, like can I recoup from this? Self-doubt. You guys need to start believing in yourselves. That's what I'm getting, all right? So as more faith is required in yourself. Um, with this energy also, we have, this is earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, uh, we also have the Sun card here for you. This talks about your energy being low. Maybe you guys feel like you don't have as much uh, oomph as you usually do. Uh, so maybe if you guys can take some time and uh, just like hang out in the sunshine for a little bit. Some of you guys, um, you know, that you could use that for nutrients. All right. Some of you guys might it just make you feel better. I don't know. Maybe you guys, some of you could be taking more vitamins or need to take more vitamins. But with the Sun card, it does talk about a joyous outcome, material happiness. There's going to be some kind of success, but we do see that there are delays with it. All right. So with you guys, there's going to be some adjustments in a situation that needs to be made. I see that here. So some changes are going to need to be made in some situation, I believe having to do with it could be finances, but I believe the changes have to be made in order for you to get to where you want to be. See, with you guys, I see there's this big focus on your craft, like working, making sure that things are the way you want them to be in order to grow whatever it is that you're doing. So I feel like there's a lot of thought being put into this with the Eight of Pentacles. It talks about the quality of your work, how you're taking your skills, your old skills that you learned over the way and moving them over into whatever it is you're doing today. But I also see that there's a new job coming for some of you guys. You guys may have just accepted a new position. Uh, I'm showing that you guys might be looking to get some kind of new wardrobe going. All right, for this new position, some of you guys might be expanding some kind of a business venture. All right, but ultimately, what it looks like is you're finalizing how you want to make your living. Like, this is what I'm comfortable doing, this is what I've been doing. I can take a little bit of this, mix it in with that, and I have what it is that I want to offer in terms of my business, my services, whatever. So, I feel like there's a lot of thought on how can I make my living, how can I finalize how I want to make my living. Like I said, some of you guys are accepting new positions, going to be offered a new position, something like that. We also have the Knight of Swords here for you. Now, I don't know how all this all goes, right? But I see for some of you guys, you're trying to stay away from trouble. Something happened to do with a troublemaker in your midst. All right? And I feel like you guys are trying to handle a situation in a way where it doesn't cause too much or too much or too much or whatever, right? But I feel like you might not be communicating the way you need to. So there's a couple of things I want to point out for you guys. Libra, if you omit information, it's going to catch you. I'm just saying. That's one of the things. All right? So omitting information, meaning I'm not telling. I'm going to hold that back. Don't hold it back, whatever it is, because it's going to come back to bite you. So you'll hear me say it like that when I'm, like, serious. Um, also, the other thing, communication. Some of you guys have some letters or something. There's something, messages, letters, something that you have not been responding to. Something you haven't been responding to. Some kind of, like, something that may annoy you. These cards talk about highs, lows, conflicts. All right? Eight of Pentacles. Education. Some of you guys might be going back to school. Some of you guys might be trying to achieve some things, right? But we have energy. I'm afraid that your energy is low is what I'm getting. But it also signals delays in material, whatever it is you've been manifesting, right? So this is material happiness, success, and whatever ventures. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Balance. Yep. How am I going to do this? How do I want to finalize things? How do I want I don't want to have this energy anymore where I'm scared. 
Like, I don't know what's going on with my finances. You know, I, I, I'm a little afraid of that. So I think that's why you guys go and secure more uh, avenues of income because these cards do talk about multiple streams of income, right? With the two of pentacles, it's reverse. So it talks about, yeah, I saved a little bit here, never touched that, forgot I had that account, let me go on this. Or, you know, just kind of like piecing things together. You want some kind of harmony and I feel like you're in disarray at the moment. So that's what, you know, I feel like the focus is for you, just trying to balance things out and I do see it coming. But, like I said before, there's something having to do with information, something, some kind of tension in the situation that you don't want to respond to. But that withholding information could get you. Um, another thing too, guys, I feel like, I feel like the reason why you guys have, okay, so this situation is probably something you were like really in, in like really passionate about, I think is the best word, passionate. It could have been passionate about whatever, because I feel like this is, this is something that you don't agree with. I feel like it's an argument or there's something happening to do with some communication and I choose not to, uh, I choose not to deal with this. I feel like this is related to a person. This, who's that? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, well, that's you. It could be, you could be dealing with another Libra, but I feel like that's your energy. I feel like you just something, you know somebody wants something, some information, and you're like, I'm not giving you anything. That deadline says 12.01 a.m., and you're going to get it at 11.59. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's see. <sighs> let's see what's going on. Let me pull, let me just pull a couple of cards. And I'll pull romance after this, but I just feel like, I feel like your focus now is a uh, security making sure things manifest you the way you want them to. Some of you guys, creators. Some of you guys are creators. Mm -hmm, with that fire energy. Okay, so some of you guys could be creators, got your own projects. Literally, you could just be creators. Nourish the sacred feminine. Okay, some of you guys, you like not nourishing yourself here. Some of you guys are too busy to nourish yourselves. I'm getting that energy a lot, too. Time to nourish yourself. What else do we have here? The now. How come I feel like for some of you guys, you might feel like, again, stability and question, reflection, assessment, control. How can I have a new beginning? I feel like some of you guys are trying to remain innovative in business. Nourishing yourself. That talks about fruition. What makes me feel full? Hold on. Sacred mirrors. Okay, if I look at sacred mirrors, I'm thinking to myself, something having to do with communications and harmony, misunderstanding, trying to find... Looking into things, reflecting, sacred, mirrors, harmony, cooperation. I need to heal from something, the now. The eight of pentacles. Hmm. I feel like some of you guys may, I don't want to say dependent on anybody for anything. I think... I think you find a way, even if you have to gravitate towards, you know what I mean, somebody else or something else, or this somebody, I don't know if you guys are like having to hold somebody down or something like that, I don't know why I'm getting this, you are magic, you have to make things happen, I feel like you're the one, and whatever the scenario is, you're the one who's got to do it, I feel like, but you're looking for balance, balance keeps coming up with this, ooh, okay. You're looking for balance. How can I find balance in this situation? How can I nurture myself and meet my goals, achieve my goals? Let me see what's going on in love here. Let's see. What's going on with Libra and love? I feel like a lot of this is about how do I move forward in some sort of venture. See, but the last energy I feel like is geared towards um, somebody you might be having some kind of tension with, some kind of conflict. And I feel like even in that situation, you're looking for balance, but it's going to be on your terms, Libra. All right. Love. <sighs> Express your love. I feel like you're not expressing your love. You're holding back. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I don't think you feel like doing that at the moment because I see you not really giving too much to whatever this is situation. It could be love. Mm. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Again, that's reversed. Um, uh, I'm going to talk this down to, I don't know that love is necessarily your focus at the moment. Your focus to me is looking like you trying to gain stability because that's a concern of yours. All right. Release your ex. 
I think this this whole love thing, I, I kind of feel like this energy is, yeah, it's there, but I'll get around to it when I, it's not a priority for you. I feel like what is a prior, priority for you is trying to figure out how, you know, how do you butter the bread? How do you even get the bread? Just saying. All right, so, you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like you guys are trying to finalize. How do I want to make something happen? How can I be innovative in whatever it is that I'm doing? Let me see what else I have here. I'm trying to pull some different cards. My cards are just like, oh, my goodness. I like those. Let's see. Oops. I don't know. Yeah. Let me see if I can put it back. Sorry about that, Libra. Come on, it's me. What you want? <laughs> All right, hang on. Give me a card for Libra. What does Libra? Have? Give me some information on Libra. What advice for Libra? I don't think these are the right cards for advice, but we'll see where it goes. It might just confirm some stuff or whatever, whatever. It might bring up some new stuff. Who knows? Simplicity. Mm, trying to find a simple, balanced way to do something. Simplicity. How can we make this simple? How can I make this easier for myself? Prioritizing. Simplicity. Power. Simplicity. Power. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice exercise. Hold on. Let's see. Wait a minute. Thriving. A. Okay. Enlightenment. I learned along the way. Oh, my goodness. I think that's just so... I think you guys get everything together. I think you do end up finding this balance and gaining your, your happiness. This achievement, there's something about an achievement, a new job. Some of you guys could have new projects, new meetings. People might be contacting you for something. Something that's going to change your situation and you'll find the balance that you want. I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'm going to leave it there. You know, I like this reading. I, everything does not have to be, you know, sad and gloomy. So, I like this, and we're going to leave it here. Let's look for the good stuff. All right, y'all. I'll see you in a bit. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.